Oh. Oh. All right, you know how sometimes you just wanna stay in bed all day long, but you don't wanna feel lazy? Well, I'm gonna show you a core exercise you can do literally from your bed every day, either first thing in the morning or right before you go to bed. I'm also gonna show you a couple different variations of it to make sure that you have beginner, intermediate, and advanced versions, all right? So um, to start out with, the reason why you should be doing these exercises is because they activate your core much better than um, if you're doing exercises like sit-ups and crunches. You see sit-ups and crunches, you have to bend your spine forward and backwards, and what that does is it can compress your discs. And when your discs get compressed, it can cause nerve damage and even cause disc herniation. So I don't recommend those exercises, and I do recommend exercises like the one I'm about to show you that you can literally do from your bed, okay? So this exercise is called a reverse crunch, and while you might have seen it before, I'm gonna show you in an immense amount of detail to make sure you're doing it with perfect form, okay? So when you wake up in the morning or right before you go to bed, just lay down in bed. You can have a pillow or no pillow, it doesn't really matter. Take both of your hands with the thumbs facing each other and put them underneath your tailbone. So what you're trying to do is create a diamond like this, and that diamond is gonna go right underneath your tailbone like that. Okay, from there, you're gonna press your lower back into the ground. So you're trying to smush the mattress down as hard as you can right here the entire time. What you'll notice is the moment you start smushing down, it's gonna give you an immediate core activation. What you wanna avoid as you do this exercise is your back lifting up like this. So if there's a little bit of space right here in your lower back, that's not good. Push down through your lower back the entire time, okay? So hands as a diamond under your tailbone, push your lower back into the ground, relax your head, don't crunch your face up like this because then you'll be using your neck muscles. Relax your head and then lift your knees up like this. From there, come down, tap your heels to the bottom and back up real slow. Tap your heels, don't rest at the bottom, just touch and then come back up. And the whole time think about pressing that lower back into the ground and you're gonna to start to feel your abs working really hard. And the goal for this is, you wanna to get to the point where when you tap your heels, you feel your abs shaking a little bit. You feel a little bit of a uh, pulsation like that. What that tells me is that all of your abdominal muscles, not just the front abdominal muscles, are working to stabilize your core. And that's triggered by pressing that lower back into the ground. Now, if this is too hard for you, all you have to do is put that diamond underneath your tailbone, press your lower back into the ground, and then just Lower your feet until you start to shake a little bit and then hold as long as you can while still pressing your lower back on the ground. When you start to lose that lower back spot, then just drop your feet and rest. And you can repeat that a few different times. If you can do full reps, then just do three or so sets of about 10 reps, nice and slow. And once it gets even easier for you, what you can do is start to straighten your legs. So I'll show you that. So diamond underneath your tailbone, press your lower back on the ground and then straighten your legs. You can have a slight bend initially tap the heels down right above the ground, and then bring them back up. And then once you get really strong, you can straighten your legs, you can take your arms out from under your tailbone, you can even put your arms over your head, come down right above the bed, pressing the lower back into the ground the entire time, keeping the heels right above, and then come back up and squeeze your stomach muscles at the top. All right, so there is a very simple core exercise that you can literally do from your bed. Like I said, Three sets of 10 if you're doing full reps, or if you have to, you can basically do holds with the knees bent coming down as far as you feel comfortable. Now, while these are some really great core exercises that do activate your core and protect your spine, the best way to find out the best and worst core exercises for your individual body type is to take our free core type quiz. So I put a link that you can click on to take this free core type quiz, and based on your age, gender, posture, and innate body shape, we're gonna share with you the worst core exercises and the best core exercises. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the best core exercise from your bed, and I'll see you in the next one.